targeting people that just need service. Uh, are you, you need a pardon? <laughs> no, no. It's our turkey. Sir, sir, what is the state of your health, sir? What is the state of your health after this exam today? Good. <laughs> Ronald Reagan as Captain Britain of the Confederate Army. Bruce Bennett as his brother, Colonel Britain of the Union Army. Both of them faced an even more relentless enemy, the bloodthirsty hordes of the Apache, striking from the hills to drive the white man from his last outpost. Mr. President, good to see you. Good to see you. Whoops. I knew this would happen. There he is. We'll surround him. Look, I had a chance to shoot a bunch of you the other day and didn't. <laughs> You, your first job is down here in the town square. Uh, well, uh, right out here in front of the depot, yes, for the main street and the parade and so forth. We have lots to do. Get busy. Okay. So long, Ron. Thanks for coming out. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. In a war between the whites and reds, would you remain an Indian? You fight for what you believe in. So do I. 20 years ago, this Thanksgiving, the first President Bush issued the first official presidential pardon for a turkey. Fine looking bird. Fine looking bird, isn't it? President Truman was the first president to pardon a turkey. Harry Truman did not grant the pardon. He refused. He was a tough cookie. But in some ways, the tradition actually began 83 years earlier when President Lincoln received a turkey for Christmas holiday. Ben Franklin was upset that the bald eagle was named our national symbol because he wanted it to be the turkey. And he said, the turkey is a much more respectable bird and a true original native of America. Uh, the emissary from Washington? Yes, sir. We have provided millions of acres of land for what are called the preservations, or the reservations, I should say. Uh, maybe we made a mistake. Maybe we should not have humored him in, in that wanting to stay in that kind of primitive lifestyle. Maybe we should have said, no, come join us, be citizens. Tribal leaders say they'll continue to oppose the project, which threatens their health and their way of life. Chairman Dave Archambault told the Human Rights Council in Geneva that the controversial oil pipeline threatens the rights of Native American people. Some of them became very wealthy because some of those reservations uh, were overlaying great pools of oil, and you can get very rich pumping oil. And, uh, so I don't know what their complaint might be. It happened. It's, it was just a genocide. And they tried to uh, wipe us out over the greed of the money. Now, to understand the crimes, you need to understand that uh, when they took place, which was in the early 20th century, the Osage Indians of Oklahoma at that time were millionaires. Oil had been discovered under their land, and prospectors had to pay the Osage for leases and royalties. Take the oil. Just take it. From 1910 to 1930, hundreds of Indians died under suspicious circumstances in what the Osage call the Reign of Terror. <laughs> Know about money going to the Congress? All I know is this is just a taste of wonder, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Mr. He's not looking forward. Mr. President, yeah. how much trouble are you in because of this Contra revelation? The Reagan administration's determination to sell arms secretly to Iran and to help guerrillas fighting the Marxist government of Nicaragua despite congressional objections was the engine that drove the Iran-Contra policy. Secretly, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North devised a scheme to finance the Contras by overcharging Iran for the weapons. I think it was a neat idea. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. 
Disney's Persian Resort, the Iranian-themed hotel. It is said that in 1978, the Iranian Shah, Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi, offered to fund the Persian hotel to make it happen. However, in the following year, he would be overthrown during the Iranian Revolution, rendering the offer moot. That same revolution would kick off a second oil crisis in 1979, causing the price of oil to more than double, once again causing a financial impact not only on Disney, but tourism as a whole. President Richard Nixon, in the midst of the Watergate scandal, famously declared, I'm not a crook to a group of newspaper editors gathered at Walt Disney World in Orlando. Because people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. How about this? Isn't this a beautiful place? And how about that mural? Thank you, girls. Wait for me in Adventureland. The website will work like a champ. The website's going to get fixed. This year, for the first time, thousands of people voted on the White House website to name the national turkey. He was frustrated by the website. Stars and stripes beat out pumpkin and cranberry. And it was a neck-to-neck -neck race. Biscuits and his running mate, Gravy. It was a close race. You might say it was neck and neck. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government go to hunt down and to find those folks. Initially, the terrorists may burrow deeper into caves and other entrenched hiding places. Our military action is also designed to clear the way for sustained, comprehensive, and relentless operations to drive them out and bring them to justice. Where's the vice president? I don't know. Uh, they aren't telling us. What I can tell you is that the vice president has been taken to a safe and secure and undisclosed location. Cheney was quail hunting with Harry Whittington in Texas when he accidentally fired a shotgun, not realizing it was pointed at Whittington. The United States will hunt down and punish those responsible for these cowardly acts. Ultimately, uh, I'm the guy who pulled the trigger that fired the round that hit Harry. Cheney's shot sprayed as many as 200 birdshot pellets into Whittington's face. It's not Harry's fault. My family and I are deeply sorry for all that Vice President Cheney and his family have had to go through this past week, and we hope that he will continue to come to Texas and seek the relaxation that he deserves. Some of the birdshot appears to have uh, moved and lodged into a uh, part of his heart, causing the atrial fib and what we would say is a minor heart attack. And uh, we're going to call Marshmallow and Yam the people's turkey. Zuh. Zuh, 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 zuh. The power vested in me as President of the United States I pardon you. I pardon you this Thanksgiving. Go ahead, take some. <laughs> there you go. Today I will issue a pardon to a pair of very, very handsome birds, the beautiful feathered friend, the noble turkey. Now that's a beauty. These two magnificent gobblers were selected from the official presidential flock of 30 turkeys. Some real beauties. You're a real beauty. That beautiful turkey. I've never seen such a beautiful turkey. Here's another beauty. Look at that beautiful, 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 beautiful bird. That's a good-looking turkey. Great job. There's a beauty for you. It's a beauty. Wow. Big bird. The big bird. Big bird. Big bird. I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. Big bird. Big bird. That's the biggest there is. Big bird <laughs> tweeted out. I just got the COVID vaccine, and, and boy, does my wing hurt. Uh-oh, that looks like a dangerous bird. That's a big turkey. You want to touch it? Yeah, yeah I want to touch it. Wow. I feel so good about myself, Terry. <laughs> Yeah. 
he likes to be strong. <laughs> President Donald Trump, who wants to bring healing to this country, and he is bringing healing to this country. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. That's a strong bird. Butterball and his alternate bread. The alternate, his name is Freedom. Now, Freedom is not here because he's in a secure and undisclosed location. And it was a close election. You might say it was neck and neck. So help me God. There you go. You're okay. I'm right here. I got you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're, you're okay. This happens when I talk too long. I am going to keep at least, at least, excuse me, one turkey off of the Thanksgiving dinner table. Cobbler and gobbler. Is peace here or just liberty? Just liberty's here, but peace is back here somewhere. Tater and tot. As many of you know, I have been very active in overturning a number of executive actions by my predecessor. However, I have been informed by the White House Counsel's Office that Tater and Tot's pardons cannot, under any circumstances, be revoked. We have to bring back the death penalty. They have to pay the ultimate price. They have to pay the ultimate price. They can't do it. After everything that's been going on in Washington these past few months, it's great to finally be sharing a stage uh, with someone I can call a turkey and get away with it. This may not be the only turkey I've had in my administration, and that's one less turkey in Washington. Very strange birds. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Country has never been more successful. Our military has been rebuilt. We captured the number one terrorist in the world. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. And killed the number one terrorist in the world, al-Baghdadi. Only America would set aside a special holiday just for the purpose of giving thanks. And so now I have a task, and that is to grant a full presidential pardon to May and Flower. They will be shortly flown to Disney World, where they will serve as honorary grand marshals for the Thanksgiving Day Parade. I'm cutting this habit cold turkey. <laughs> Simply put, these strikes have saved lives. Good one. Huh? That was pretty funny. Yeah. So that's that. Thanks for coming. Have a great Thanksgiving. God bless. Thank you all. Well, you know, in, in our family, nobody really talks about politics, which, you know, may seem unusual to some, but uh, it will be certainly at that time of groundedness and of uh, knowing and realizing and being a part of what really matters, and that's family and friends. And um, that's what I look forward to on Thanksgiving Day and on Christmas Day. What are you going to get Todd for Christmas? Oh, probably uh, gas money for the snow machine. That's what he has for every year. <laughs>